Hi there, Lloyd Macedo. Speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who is Lloyd Macedo? Think personal branding. Okay. Uh, I was a little surprised to receive this news. This is about uh, uh, Dr. Habib Al Mullah. Okay. Uh, it seems that he is one of the top lawyers in Dubai. Dubai? UAE. Okay. Dubai. Yeah. Uh, Dubai, UAE, whatever. Um, so I'll give you my thoughts about this and I'll also give you just a you know, side note, information that I received. I, uh, you know, there are quite a number of people who uh, are in UAE or ex-UAE or have contacts and connections in UAE uh, in high places and they have left and, you know, they normally get in touch with me. So one of the reports that I received uh, from two people, uh, if one, it is okay, I don't take it too seriously, but two independent people from two different uh, locations totally, they stated that Sheikh Mohammed, that is the ruler of Dubai, was not keeping well. Now, I try to confirm this, but it's a little hard. It's not that easy because, you know, they, they these are very critical and sensitive issues. They don't let it out so openly. So because two people at two different, uh, from two different locations at two different periods of time within this short one week, they said that he's not keeping well. So I thought, okay, maybe it's time to share this information. But like I said, uh, I've not received any official confirmation from anyone. They are just saying I've heard it from someone. So when you hear it from someone, through someone, you know, uh, your guess is as good as mine. So if in case it is true, I I genuinely, genuinely, I, I hope he gets well soon because, you know, as it is, we are seeing people who are close to us or people whom we have been born under their dynasty or legacy or uh, rule, um, they are just, you know, vanishing one by one. And especially the late Queen Elizabeth, uh, Queen Elizabeth II, she just died and it was really sad. Although there are some idiots uh, in India and some other people from other parts of the world who say, oh, she's a colon colonialist and she's evil. And I just tell them to bugger off. Okay, so Sheikh Mohammed, it seems, is not keeping well and... Uh, I, I just genuinely and sincerely, sincerely hope he gets well soon. Uh, and I, you know, hope that he lives for a very long time and uh, as long as he can be perfectly healthy. So this is one part of the news that I received. So if in case any one of you who's watching my videos know anything better, you can always get in touch with me. My details are put down below or WhatsApp or Telegram or Signal or any other way. Where, wherever you feel it's safe. Okay, so <clears throat> coming back to this guy, Al Mullah. Now, there are two uh, articles. <clears throat> I'll put their links down below. One is Arabian Business and another one is uh, Gulf News. Okay, I'll speak. I'll read out bits and pieces of them. You can read it, the whole article, but I'll give you my thoughts. So Arabian Business, I read it, that top UAE lawyer Habib Al Mullah from the Al Mullah family quits over controversial social media comments. Okay, so, you know, obviously I was wondering what did he say? So uh, one of UAE's most prominent and respected lawyers has parted ways with Baker McKenzie following a series of controversial remarks he made on Twitter. So what did he say? In a post last week, Dr. Habib Al Mullah described homosexuality as problematic, not only the ugliness of the act, but in the necessity of atheism by its nature. Okay. He also added that individuals who practice perversion in secret is committing an evil act and disobeying the creator. Now, what do I think about these statements? See, uh, Muslims or Islam or any other religion, you check Christianity, you check Islam, you check uh, even Hinduism, okay, even Hinduism, I, I don't think there is any religion that endorses homosexuality, okay? Uh, man and women, they believe man and women, they are two genders and they are created for each other to, uh, you know, have sex and have children, to get married and have children. So that is as per religion. Now, obviously, as time has passed by, people have, um, you know, homosexuality is not that it has just started new. It was always there, but it was not discussed openly or thought about it openly, even though it was practiced. And uh, 
they thought this was more like a deep, dark, dirty secret, something that you would do when you're absolutely intoxicated or drunk or you didn't have any morals or values. So they used to practice homosexuality and obviously the different versions of sex and going wild and crazy and erotic. Okay, it's just that now, um, ever since I would say that social media started and communication has been more and more open, have they realized that homosexuality is not a rare thing or not a disease or not being you possessed by the devil? It is a sexual preference. People have a preference. Okay. Now, the only thing is where Islam is concerned, because Islam is slightly more strict. It is, for lack of a better word, it is prehistoric in its uh, uh, rules and implementations that... Uh, they openly, they openly say it is not acceptable. Now, in that doesn't mean Christianity, it is acceptable. Christianity also, but it's rather, see, Christianity is not implemented so hardcore. It is rather more of, uh, they tolerate it. But in Islam, it's more strict. They do not accept it. That is why Christianity, you will hear people make jokes about Jesus or they they might draw a funny image about Jesus and all that. So even though there may be a controversy, but people are not going to go, oh, you know, how dare you and, you know, going to kill and this and that. But in Islam, if anyone um, does anything that, you know, speaks or jokes about Prophet Muhammad or Islam or Allah or leave even leaves a religion, it's considered uh, apostasy. It's considered a violation. It's a very big thing. Uh, and it stems from the upbringing, okay? In Christianity, they, they're like forgive and forget. But in Islam, you are supposed to love Allah and you're supposed to love Prophet Muhammad more than your parents, more than yourself, more than anything in the world. So, uh, Dr. Habib Al-Mullah, who has been raised which I'm, I'm pretty, I'm assuming he has been raised in the values of Islam and who has been thought that, you know, homosexuality is a sin. This is what he was thought right from the time he was a child. He was thought that Islam is true, Allah is real and homosexuality and all that is bad. So this is what he states. Now, what he, what he's stating, is it wrong? No, as per Muslims, as per Islam, as per what he, his religion, He's right as per his religion. However, it may not be acceptable to people who don't follow Islam or who are homosexuals or the LGBTQ community. Okay. So he's right where he is and you are right where you are. Okay. So in his statement, the company said after discussions, recent discussion, Baker McKenzie and Habib, Dr. Habib Al-Mullah can confirm they'll be parting ways. The separation process is underway and we remain committed to supporting both clients and employees in the UAE and wider region. Okay. See, the reason why Baker McKenzie has done this is because Baker McKenzie is a global company. It definitely does not want to be seen as a homophobic or transphobic or any of the phobic kind of, um, you know, taglines they don't want. However, Baker, uh, this Habib Al-Mullah is a UAE citizen. He is a Muslim. He doesn't give a rat's ass about what what phobic or whatever uh, title you might put being a follower of islam he is true to his religion and so he doesn't give a damn about all this and in fact if you look at it all the arab states all the muslims in the arab states and muslims abroad also especially who are from very conservative or reserved backgrounds they do not support and they do not endorse homosexuality okay even for that matter hinduism or christianity they do not endorse this but however where islam is concerned it's a little bit more uh, pronounced now i can assure you and challenge you on this if you were to talk to a muslim arab or any muslim and say homosexuality maybe you know when he's in a public platform he'll say you know they can do whatever they want uh, it's their business but in our religion it's not allowed but I can assure you this much that none of the Arab Muslims or none of the Muslims uh, would tolerate this uh, lifestyle choice with their family members or with the people that they love. They will not accept it by any means. Maybe in a public platform, they'll be very diplomatic about it. Depends on what leadership position or uh, position they occupy in society. Okay. 
So, uh, in the statement continued, Baker McKenzie strongly believes that however much we may disagree with the beliefs and personal view of others, we must find ways to disagree respectfully and encourage inclusive dialogue and ensure an inclusive work environment for all. Any social media comments by Dr. Habib represent his own views and those and not those of the firm. Well, obviously, because, you know, they want to show a global identity. Okay. Uh, on the company's website, it describes Al Mullah as one of the most, one of UAE's most highly respected legal authorities who has 38 years experience in UAE law and drafted many of the modern legislative structures in place in Dubai today. Dr. Habib is a strong advocate of improvement and modernization of UAE laws. He's a frequent commentator of the legislation and economy of the UAE and often consulted to draft and advise on federal and emirate level laws. Doctor, so he's very accomplished. Basically, he's very accomplished and he has achieved a lot. Okay. Dr. Al Mullah created the concept of fin financial free zones in the UAE and was the architect of legal framework establishing the DIFC, DIFC, that is Dubai International Financial Center, and the first financially free zone in the UAE. Dr. Habib also served as the chairman for the Legislative Committee for Dubai Financial Services Authority. So he's a very accomplished individual. Okay. He published many books and articles on UAE law and economy, including a two-part book on his life work titled Life's Harvest, a definitive selection of his writing on the laws and politics of the economy of UAE over the last 26 years. So an extremely accomplished individual. However, if you check Gulf News, here they have been a little bit more explicit. So what it says here is, Dr. Habib Al Mullah receives huge support after parting ways with Baker McKenzie International. Okay, so here in Gulf News, they are presenting him as a person who is being supported by the Muslim community. So the famous Emirati lawyer, Dr. Habib Al Mullah has received tremendous support from many Gulf activists, el elites and citizens following the decision taken by international law firm Baker McKenzie to part ways with Al Mullah, whose law firm Habib Al Mullah and Partners was a member firm of Baker McKenzie International with offices in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. In a series of tweets, the Emirati lawyer said, I would like to thank everyone who has shown their support for me and my stance on homosexuality. Your support means a lot. I apologize if I inadvertently missed to reply any one of you. So he's not apologizing for his views. He's saying, I apologize if I forgot to thank you for it. My personal opinion, which I've shared, represent my beliefs and conviction that stem from my religion and core values. I'm very proud of it and will not apologize of my comments, which I don't think he should apologize. Okay. See, uh, even me, even me. Okay. I, you know, you are, there are many people who say my face looks ugly, which yes, majority, <laughs> yeah, that that is subjective. Okay, they say I'm ugly. They say I'm shaitan. They say I'm jinn. And it's not just Arab Muslims. There are Hindus. Uh, there are not Hindus. Sorry, Indian Muslims who tell me that I am the Antichrist. Uh, really? Uh, they really they they tell me, please, brother. You know, very respectfully, they they tell their family members. They, I I know friends who have actually told their other friends. You know, he's he's the jinn. I'm the antichrist. I'm the re, you know, I'm born to destroy the world and this and that and whatever. And they even show me some YouTube videos where it says 666 is the mark of the devil. I don't know which part of my face is 666. And they believe, strongly believe that I am the second coming of the antichrist. Wow. Woohoo. Okay, fine. But <laughs> so, um, and yes, many of them have even, they have offered, uh, you know, like uh, hidden messages to my wife, uh, you know, protect your daughter. Oh, I pity that girl. She's going to be taken into the dark side and all that. It's kind of cool, actually, if you look at it. I don't feel bad. Okay. It's their religion that they, are, they have been brought up. And some of them even consider dogs as dirty and uh, satanic life, like eating pork and eating all that. So fine. I, I'm not saying anything wrong. It's your belief. It's your belief, your life. Okay. Like I've always told you, it's okay to believe whatever you want. You want to believe in unicorns, UFOs, uh, Amunra, Thor, Spider-Man, Zeus. As long as you're not hurting and harming anyone, it's okay to believe. You can even believe in a one-eyed, uh, you know, purple people eater. Okay, for all that I care. So even he, he's right to believe whatever he wants to believe. 
then what he says is although we are a tolerant society that is uae and welcome individuals who think differently than we are we reject any ideas and beliefs that are imposed on us that go against our islamic ideals and is perfectly right and i know and i'm aware of this whether it's sheikh mohammed whether it's mbz i can assure you this much they strongly believe in their religion okay but it's just that they don't talk about it openly because you know obviously you don't want to hear you don't want to you know make a non issue an issue okay then what he says although we did break ways with baker mckinsey we will continue to operate as an independent firm and provide our clients with the same level of service that they have come to expect however out of respect for the friendship i will keep quiet and avoid commenting on baker mckinsey we will begin the separation and exit negotiations next week okay in a statement on baker mckinsey's website title baker mckinsey statement regarding our ue operation the firm said After recent discussions Baker McKenzie and Dr Habib Al Mullah can confirm they will be parting ways the separation process is underway and we'll remain committed to both clients and employees in UAE and the wider region so you know i i think the base problem is he made he sent a public tweet and Baker McKenzie given that they formed the partnership they had to address it otherwise they would face global backlash okay So Baker McKenzie then says Baker McKenzie strongly believes that however we may disagree with the beliefs and personal view of others we might find ways to respectfully uh, disagree respectfully yeah obviously because they are operating in uh, UAE had they been in US they would say this is racist and sexist and this is homophobic and transphobic and all that drama that they would conjure up okay <coughs> then it says here on September 6th Dr Al Mullah posted a Twitter thread in Arabic commenting on the problem of the thought and movement of homosexuality in the west actually i i don't see any problem with homosexuality you want to love someone of the same gender or you want to love someone else it's up to you you're not harming hurting anyone in fact like russell peter says we have a major population problem and being homo is actually reducing the problem you know and i don't say homo in a bad way it's it's you know you're avoiding population <laughs> population explosion and in fact when homosexual uh, individuals or lesbians when they adopt a child many people say that's very bad i i personally don't think it's very bad you're giving an orphan a life and i think that's very good the only issue is yes obviously you don't have a balanced equation of a man and woman but i do have a problem with transgender people i'm giving my opinion trans people who are a man who removes cuts his body parts and becomes a female and a girl cuts her breasts and puts a fake this thing for me that is a little disturbing because they themselves are not mentally and emotionally stable how will you bring up a child and then there are others who tell the children you're not a boy or you're not a girl even though you have that gender you can choose your gender you can be gender fluid and that is a extremely disturbing issue totally so i don't have problems with gay and lesbians adopting children but when transgender people people are perfectly healthy externally but internally are not and they adopt these children or they you know give birth in fact one of the most disturbing videos where a uh, a guy who gives himself all these injections to have breasts and this small little baby that they've uh, i don't know how they uh, ad- you know give birth this baby is sucking on this man's chest and hoping for milk and he saying oh so sweet but i don't have milk my dear it was very disturbing for me very very disturbing it is still there that video is still there and those people are still there so for me those that is disturbing and when you tell the child who's a boy or who's born as a girl no you're not a boy or girl you choose your gender you can be whatever you want and they call them them zim zer or them they for me that is disturbing anyway that is a different uh, matter altogether but like i said they might be different we should not hate them but at the same time we should not encourage them to you know kind of spread this to schools and colleges and children that i'm totally against and that is where i totally agree with the american republican party where you should not be teaching especially sex education to small children and should not force them to learn all this and normalize this kind of behavior no i'm sorry when they are an adult teach them this because if you teach them when they're young as it is they are confused and then they'll have all these confusions oh maybe i'm in the wrong gender and if they undergo operations like you have in canada 
even small children can undergo surgery and the parents are not allowed to say anything that to me is very very disturbing so the problem is you deal with one issue then you bring bring up another issue and it never ends so anyway sticking to this last week he tweeted a video poster on tiktok featuring several young emirati women talking about being in a safe space that allows them to be who they are to mark emirati women's day one of the participants said no matter what you look like or feel inside you are not alone to which he responded with a tweet that said in the statement to the woman in the video is used to express feelings of homosexuals see this is the problem a lot of by the way a lot of emirati young women today are opening up uh, men and women about homosexuality not just emirati saudi and i many of them send me messages because obviously my videos are there and i tell them this that see listen as long as you stay in uae or saudi don't declare this openly if you leave uae or you you know you're earning your own and you're independent then you do whatever you want but as long as you stay there don't make this open others you'll open a can of worms and a lot of problems because remember it's the family is doing what the family believes is right but may not be right for you and if you're an adult just move leave you know and then do whatever you want but as long as you stay in the country and in the family don't just don't even having a tattoo i tell them listen don't put a henna design don't put a permanent one okay al mulla pre- had previously lauded the statements by the telecom regulatory authority and media regulatory office of the ue regarding the violation uh, violating contents of netflix platform that's another one i i by the way i watched that disney plus uh, cartoon of uh, that what is that toy story guy they made it a big issue of two girl cartoon characters kissing and getting married and having a child uh, and this everyone boycotted it even people in usa i watched it it was it was boring it was terrible uh, yeah it was shocking to see that uh, they are encouraging this in cartoons now uh, but that was okay fine you made it but then the cartoon at least should be fun the cartoon itself was pathetic it i don't know why or how but every woke movie that comes out like she hulk and all that i watched some of it it's if the story was good fine it's fun but it's it's terrible i don't know why they are doing even eternals they ruined it the mcu they have ruined it <laughs> anyway the statement indicated that it was noticed in the recent period that the netflix platform broadcast had visual m- materials and content that violates the controls of media broadcasting in the ue and contradicts the societal values of the state i think what is happening is all the arab states agreed they're saying okay you want to be modern you want to be out there you want to be you want to show that you're uh, accepting people and you know you're not being like uh, a saudi hardcore islamic state fine but stop pushing your agenda of homosexuality of lgbtq plus of alcohol of all this in a conservative islamic uh, lifestyle which i think they are very right to have these rules and i i'm sorry but i disagree with the lgbtq community even people who are tattooed even people who are this don't try pushing your agenda on someone else if they don't want they don't want okay just as you know just because you believe in oh open sex and open this and open that doesn't mean the whole world has to listen to you and that doesn't mean they are backward there are many things that people who are forward do so much forward where they even consider being a pedophile as oh small what a small people a small people a loving person people who love small people no i i'm sorry i find that extremely disturbing okay even being a lesbian being gay is fine as long as you don't start brainwashing small children in schools and colleges about this let them grow at a certain age and then talk about sex education even sex education uh, talking oh your gender you know your private parts you can be whatever you want that doesn't define no that is very disturbing i'm sorry today we are living in very disturbed disturbing times where i w- would rather prefer people being taught the values of religion than the values of sexuality and open sex seriously even though i'm an atheist i'm telling you this anyway i di- i don't uh, disagree with uh, dr habib al mulla even though even though uh, i'm sure he would say tattoos are evil i look like shaitan and all that i agree with this guy and i think you should preserve its 
its values, its identity, its heritage. And if they are not comfortable with the LGBTQ kind of lifestyle being promoted, it's a country you respect the laws. And there are countries that accept you. There are countries that don't. There are countries that have its laws. We need to respect them. And we can't push our agenda everywhere. And that is where the LGBTQ community, I very much vehemently disagree when they start putting their, you know, banner and their pride everywhere, even in Qatar right now. They're saying, oh, you should allow us to drink booze and alcohol and do our LGBTQ stuff. No, do it quietly. Respect the laws of the country. You don't like it. Sit at home. That's it. Anyway, this is what I have to say. Feel free to disagree. Bash me up as much as you like in the comment section below. But I believe a country's rules should be respected. A country has its, you know, formal uh, accepted religion, traditional values. You can't come with just because you're this new generation. Hey, listen, follow our values and change your Islam, change your Christianity, change everything and become like us. No, I'm sorry. It doesn't work that way. This is what I have to say. Let me know your thoughts. And yes, if you do know anything about Sheikh Mohammed, uh, any updates, feel free to share it with me confidentially. Having said that, this is me signing off. You guys take care. Bye. Are you fed up of life? Earning a pathetic salary, working long hours, having an ungrateful boss, facing office politics, the constant fear of losing your job, and after paying rent, groceries, shopping, and children's expenses, you were left with hardly any savings. Is this the life you dreamed of? Or do you wish to change your life forever? Meet Loy Macedo, the world's number one personal branding coach. He will help you identify the real you. Position and sell yourself by getting the job of your dreams and make good money anywhere in the world. If you do not believe me, Google his name, Loy Macedo, and you will find 2 million web links online and over 200 recommendations from very happy clients. So the question is, do you want to change your life? If yes, then contact Loy Macedo www.loymacedo.com Who is loymacedo.com? Thinkpersonalbranding.com What are you waiting for? Do it now!